Alpha Megasyn used rent. It is super effective. Hello everybody, I am the PJ Gamer and I've come to talk to you about this little fella right here. Did you know that the GameCube was not technically a geometrical cube? Nah man, and I thought the Game Boy was actually a boy too. So yes, today I've come to talk to you about the miracle of the GameCube and how it is my favorite Nintendo console of all time. Now the Nintendo GameCube is debatably Nintendo's quirky console. That's for a few reasons, mostly because it looks... Even though this console is so quirky that it even had a carrying handle on it, it is still one of my favorite Nintendo consoles, and always will be, for a few reasons. The main reason this console is so special to me is because it has a vast array of games from all different IPs, and all of the games are top-notch. Just take, for example, Wind Waker. Wind Waker ran on this. A cube with a stick sticking out the front to hold memory. Wow! <laughs> this console really did surprise us in a lot of ways, because we weren't really expecting a uh, console that had very many good games, because it was mainly aimed towards kids, as apparent by the opening. You know, the opening. You know, the classic opening. However, it was amazing, and I absolutely adore the GameCube. It was one of my very first consoles. And the, just the game selection, like I said. Super Mario Sunshine, The Wind Waker, just all these great games, just think of them all. What, uh, let me, look, Mario Party, Soul Calibur 2. Oh, oh my gosh, the list could go on and on. There's just so many great games on there. You know, the Beautiful Joe series, that, that's a pretty good series. The Sonic DX, there's that on GameCube. There's so many great games on GameCube. A lot of Nintendo first party games, which is especially why I like it. Not too many third party, so a lot of Nintendo IPs ended up on the console. And it's just so darn quirky. Like, if I were a video game console, I'd be the GameCube. It would be like all the Xbox 360 and the PS3 all sleek, shiny, popular. I'm just like... Hi. So, it really took people by surprise. Just think. A little cube, just... It brought up some of the very best games in history. Think about that. A cube brought us some of the very best games in history. Another reason why I like the GameCube is because it's in that sort of awkward era b between like the N64 and the Wii where it's just kind of 3D, but not not really modern 3D, more early 2000s 3D, and it's just such a rich feeling. Like the 1990s 3D, like the PlayStation 1 and 64, that was kind of ugly and choppy. And the like, Wii, that was kind of all sleek and modernized. And the GameCube, that little awkward stage in between. <laughs> it's kind of like a metaphor for life. And it's just, it's just kind of there. And it's so good because it's like even in that awkward stage it did bring us amazing games that still hold up to this day to this day there are even games being released right now that are worse than GameCube games which have been released 14 years ago some of them it just it blows my mind to think that a game 13 14 years old could actually hold up against some of the Xbox One games PS4 games PS3 games uh, Xbox 360, Wii, Wii U, it just holds up so well. And I do think the GameCube deserves uh, a big old pat on the back for all it's done for the video game industry. And one of the final reasons why I love the GameCube is for its controller. Its controller is just so comfy. What it is, is basically N64 controller, the Super Nintendo controller, the NES controller, all mixed. It has the analog stick, sort of, which is kind of like an update on the N64, uh, you know, six-way or whatever octagon-shaped thing. Uh, it also has, like, the buttons from, like, the Super Nintendo, like, the big colorful buttons. And from the NES, it pretty much took the little D-pad. It's just a combination of it all, and it mixes some of the best controllers of video game history together to make this 
quite odd looking controller, let me say that. But it does fit so comfortably in your hands. It just fits. It's just the way that your hands are meant to be uh, used to play video games. So they did adapt on the hands, and they made sure it was really comfortable to use. You know, the NES controller, kind of bricky, blocky. Not really that comfortable. The Super Nintendo, more rounded, but still kind of small. The N64 controller, <laughs> who knows? And then just the GameCube controller, it's just so fluid and so perfect, I'll say in a sense, because I really do think that's my preferred controller to use. If I could use that controller for every single video game system and use it to play every single video game, I probably would. So, thank you guys all for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, peace.